There are six different classes of synovial joints, and this illustration has the arm, which shows an example of all six. So the first example we have are the ball and socket joint, and you have two of these in the body. You're seeing one here at the shoulder. Uh, we also have another one at the hip joint, where the femur attaches to the hip bone, the coxal bone. The ball and socket joint is multi-axial, meaning that it's got three axes of rotation. It can go around like this, around like this, or swing out like that. The next joint is called a pivot joint. The pivot joint is monoaxial, so it's only going to rotate in one. One example of this is the radius and the ulna. If you put your arm out flat and then just turn your hand over, what you're seeing is your radius is pivoting over the ulna. So the radius is spinning along the long axis. Another type of joint is the saddle joint. And this is only found in this one spot, the trapezio metacarpal. And the reason it's called a saddle joint is because each of these joints looks kind of like a saddle, comes up like the front and the back of a saddle. And then this one looks like a saddle as well. And they join together and they're able to rotate in this plane and again in this plane. Um, so this is going to be a biaxial. Our fourth class of joints is called the hinge joint. And it would function like you think it should with a hinge. A hinge is monoaxial, it's only going to be able to move in this direction. So examples of this are things like the elbow, the knee. Another joint in the carpals, as well as in the tarsals, is the plane joint. So this is when we have kind of two flat edges, plane, like flat planes, that are next to each other. And so they don't move a lot, but it does allow for some movement in this direction, and some movement in this direction. So this is going to be a biaxial joint. And then condylar joints are joints found on condyles. So for example, the mandibular condyle in the jaw joint, um, as well as the condylar joints in the fingers. It's gonna allow for rotation along this axis, as well as this axis, as the condyle can rotate in this socket. So this is another biaxial joint. So normally in class, what I would do is stand up in front and demonstrate all of these movements um, and show you which ones are opposites. So things like flexion and extension are um, opposites of each other. I usually learn these together. Abduction and adduction are opposites of each other. Elevation and depression are opposites, protraction and react retraction. Um, pronation and supination. So instead of demonstrating them for you, because that's not something I'm set up to do here at home, uh, what I'm going to do is link a video of a very good demonstration showing the movements of the joints as well as some of these specialized movements of the head, the jaw, the hands, and the feet. So please take a moment and describe the six different classes of synovial joints. Be sure to include an example and how many axes of rotation it has.